object oriented program because it provides the reusability of the code suppose you have written one code that is going to be useful for some other purpose you can use it right so one of the most useful aspects of this programming is the code reusability inheritance because once your class is declared and your variables is declared your function is defined the same thing i can use it in another class without redefining it once again okay that is a property called as a reusability as the name suggest inheritance is a process of forming a new class from the existing class i told no the acquiring one class properties into another class is called as the inheritance right so he is called as a the one which you are going to create a new class is called as a base class and uh, one which you are going to derive using the base class is called as a derived class so you will have one base class say for example class a is you are creating right so using that properties i can create a class b so that uh, the base the class a is called as a base class and if i am going to derive the uh, class b that is called as a derived class means class b can acquire all the properties and all the features of a class a right so that is what the um, uh, that is what it is a derived class this is very important concept for object oriented programming since this feature helps to reduce the code size it reduces the time okay it reduces the debugging time everything it saves memory space it saves instead of redefining one sign again same thing i can reuse it right so it saves some memory it saves some uh, time right all that so polymorphism is uh, the property as i told the polymorphism is also sometimes is called as a function overloading that means poly means many morphism means forms the ability to use a method or function in different ways in other words giving different meaning for method function is called as a polymorphism i told no uh, poly means many morphism means uh, different forms i for example yesterday class i told area area i am using right area is same name of the function is same but i am sending different parameters for the area right different parameters for the area means that different parameters for the uh, area is say for example when i am going to find the area for a triangle i am so into send a two parameters two float that is a b and h okay base and height of a triangle when i am going to find the area of a rectangle i can send one int and one float or i can send both integers right length and the breadth suppose i am going to find the area of a circle i can send only one variable that is radius of a circle so area function name is same or same but different arguments okay many for pism forms right so that property we call it as a the polymorphism okay these are the very important properties that we must remember when we are going to write the the java programming so other uh, whatever i told the features of in the second that is all same okay all you can write all nine points also you can write object class object classes right data hiding data encapsulation data abstraction inheritance polymorphism and then dynamic binding message passing these are the nine very important points of object oriented programming features then come for the the uh, history of the java how i told the history of the c history of a c++ that is history of c++ is uh, the generated by uh, a extended c language plus plus increment operator that shows c++ is a incremented version of a c language right 
so incremented version of a c language is a c++ language and it is developed by b journeys brought up the name of a person who developed the the c++ is a b journeys brought up right and java similarly even it will also have a its own history java actually it is a general purpose object oriented programming language it is not developed by a single person it is developed by a company called as a sun microsystem in of usa in the year 1991 right so c for example c++ is having the original name c extended classes right but that has been changed to c++ similarly this java original name is oak right so it was designed for the development of the software for consumer electronic devices like tvs vcrs all electronic devices normally embedded software say for example we are going to use a washing machine in our home home appliances oven right so that all the programs which are dis, uh, developed and in the circuit is uh, the free this one mm, what for washing machine is java code only where where ma'am java code where how it is employed see this java program is written for the washing machine to control the the washing of the different cloths by setting the times right say so for example we are going to wash cotton clothes we are going to wash woolen clothes right we are going to wash silks silk uh, clothes right and we are going to other material at other kind of the material right so what we are do, going to do is this uh, java program has been developed for to set the time for the embedded software we are put in tvs and vcrs all those things etc right so actually this oak is a tree okay these people sun microsystem people when they are uh, developing some programming language they were thinking what to give the name for this programming language when they are going to look outside they saw a oak tree right oak tree have you heard the oak tree okay so when they are going to see when they uh, um, when they saw that oak tree they named that language as a oak okay so after uh, that okay so this name has been changed to java programming okay java then this is a general purpose we can develop uh, two kinds of applications using java programming language one is uh, with the, the that is a uh, two types java application one is a stand alone java applications the second one is java applets or web applets we call which is going to be used for creation of your web pages right so stand alone applications or programs written in java to carry out certain task on a certain stand alone system executing the stand alone java program which is going to contain a two phases of whenever you are going to write some application for personal use right that going are stand alone uh, applications right and this is having the two phases of uh, the java so compiling the source coded into byte code using the java c that is the java compiler java c means java compiler right executing the byte code program using the java interpreter so you can anyone tell me what is the difference between the compiler and the interpreter can anyone tell me what is the difference between compiler and interpreter so here you come across java compiler and java interpreter so whatever you what we you people will understand the why it is one time it is compiler and one time it is interpreter can anyone tell me the difference between compiler and interpreter any student mom compiler compiler executes uh, every line of code at once mom but Good. interpreter it executes the code line by line very good excellent so compiler what happens it it is going to execute the whole program and totally uh, convert that whole line of program into the object code and uh, it is going to display the list of errors totally right whereas interpreter is a small is used only for small programming languages right 
and compiler is used is a lot of facilities when i programming languages we are going to use we use a compiler and the interpreter what it does is so it interprets line by line that is a the it is going to convert your uh, i level language line by line right so it is a uh, and until unless you are going to if the error is there in the first line it will not go for the execution of the second line until unless you are going to correct that error that is a line by line translation of your the uh, i level programming language normally this interpreter is used for basic programming language which is developed in the second generation uh, okay okay interpreter now the two phases for standard on java applications one is for compiling the source code into the byte code using the java compiler right so here uh, normally what happens in i level language is so when you are going to input the i level language into the compiler for processing that compiler converts your whole code into the machine level, level language right machine readable form that is 0 to 1 so in java that is not uh, uh, that is not how it is going to be executed i'll tell you in the next uh, section of the class so uh, java applets i told no the second uh, uh, application java application is web applets applets are small java program developed for internet applications an applet located on a distant computer can be downloaded via internet and execute on local computer so these applets are nothing but a small programs okay and these small programs a piece of code which is written for to serve the internet applications right and uh, an applet which is going to be uh, located in some other computer that can be loaded via internet and it can be executed on your own local machine so i told that java is uh, supporting more on the internet side okay that is the reason why the applets are which are applets java applets which we are going to use in the internet applications right so java is strongly associated with the internet mainly a java applets right we use so internet users can use java to create applet programs and they can run using the java enabled browsers uh, called as a art java and they can also use a java enabled browser to download the applet i told no that applet piece of code is present in some other place right and that uh, code can be uh, downloaded and you can exit on your own local machine right and uh, any computer anywhere in the internet and run them locally suppose it may be in your friend system which is located in different place right and you can download that and you can run on your own system in your home right but your print program is present in the internet right you can download it and work on that so internet internet users can also set their websites containing the java applets and uh, ability to java applet applets is uh, uh, that uh, it can hitch a ride on the information makes a java a unique programming language for the internet so the java programming language uh, is more useful for the the internet applications for the the uh, setting of the websites that contains a java applets right and they can be used by users users of internet and uh, so on so right so so many applications are there for java when it comes to the uh, internet uh, uh, usage right so how will the environment i told no that uh, java environment will be the contains only the member functions and the the uh, function member functions and the classes right so java environment which are going to include large number of development tools there are hundreds of classes and methods or their java development tools are part of the system known as java development kit that is a jdk we call jdk means java development kit 
and the classes and methods are part of the java standard library known as jsl that is a in short we call it as a jdk that is a java development kit okay uh, and uh, java library standard library also known as application program interface we call that as a apis okay that is a application program interfaces where they are going able to communicate with the other classes and other uh, applications okay that is a jdk j api and jsl this is the environment of the java so which contains uh, classes methods and uh, and uh, jdk that is a java development uh, kit tool and js standard library and then uh, the it will have the api that is a uh, the application program interfaces which are there able to communicate so next is the uh, java features what are the features of java why it is very popular when compared to the other object oriented program there is one programming language or pure object oriented programming language called as eiffel e i f f e l the spelling is e i f f e l that is a eiffel that is a that is also a pure object oriented programming but it is not that much popular like java because of its drawbacks it is not more much applicable in the internet applications right so but java is very popular because of its features right and uh, because of uh, uh, its uh, uh, most popular in internet writing the java applet uh, for the internet uh, applications right so this java is having the some of the features let me study one by one uh, what are the java features first is compiled interpreted second one is architecture neutral or platform independent and portable third is object oriented fourth is robust and secure fifth is distributed sixth is it is very familiar and simple and small right and uh, seventh is multi threaded and interactive so okay and eighth one is because it's of high performance ninth is dynamic and is extendable okay so all the things are going to take place during the run time that's why it is a dynamic and it is extendable okay that is the reason why it is extendable just i will give you two or three minutes time just you go through the previous uh, slides and if you have any doubts you tell me then i'll move on to the java features because you must understand what is uh, uh, a basic concept just memorize it if you understood you just memorize it it is something like memorizing is nothing but a reading only right you are storing into your uh, tape recorder that is your brain memory okay just you go through this uh, java environment java and internet why it is called and why how who has developed this java how the name java has come what is the original name of java right then i will i will explain the features of java 2 3 minutes Hello. 
Shall I proceed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So just memorize all the nine points of Java feature. And anyone tell me? Memorize the nine points of Java features. The first is um, compiled and interpreted. I told here one thing that is uh, the standalone machine which uses a Java compiler and Java interpreter, right? So here, when you come to the compiled and interpreted, so, uh, so why we are going to compile and interpret? Because I we want our I-level language program to be understandable by the computer. That's it, right? Whether you are going to do the interpretation, we are going, you are going to use an interpreter or it is a compiler, right? So usually computer languages, they are going to use either a, compi a compiler or the interpreter. So here in Java, what it does is it combines both these approaches. That is a first Java compiler translates your source code into the byte code instructions. Remember, not a machine code, machine instructions, byte code instructions, right? Byte codes are not machine in instructions. In the second stage, Java interpreter generates a machine code. That is, a, when it is interpreted, first I told Java compiler, and then I told next time, that is, a, the executing the byte code program using the directly executing the program, Java byte code into the executable form, right? So, the byte codes are not machine instructions, as I told. And therefore, in the second stage, the after compiler Java C compiler is converting the into the byte code, right? Java interpreter generates the machine code and can be directly executed by the machine that is running the Java program, right? So first time it interprets into the byte code that is compiler converts into the byte code, and second time that it is going to uh, 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 generates into the uh, when the java interpreter is going to generates into the machine code that can directly executed by the machine and it is running the java program you are going to execute the java program that is a, that is why it is feature called as a compiled and interpreted means because uh, it combines both the features it does the compilation as well as it is going to interpret the, the machine byte code which is going to be generated in the machine code right next is the second feature is uh, the platform independent and portable architecture is neutral the run C. Can anyone tell me what do you mean by machine independent and machine dependent? Harish, Baiba Chakravarti, can you tell me what is a, a machine dependent and machine independent language? Anyone? So, all third generation onwards no. languages are machine independent languages.
So can anyone tell me what we what is machine dependent and what is machine independent languages? Ma'am, is it uh, same as platform independent languages, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Tell me. Ma'am, it uh, it is like or am um, work once and run anywhere like if you are uh, doing uh, executing the language in windows and if you can back up it and it will run in any other platform also mom it is platform independent very good see platform independent machine independent both means the same once you are written a program once you are written a, a, a solution to a given problem using some computer programming language right that can be run under any operating system or that can be run under any make of the machine whether it is uh, manufactured by tcs company manufactured by hp company or manufactured by uh, some other company also platform independent okay so that is a suppose you are written a program for some uh, c program say that c program can be executed under unix operating system it can be executed under dos operating system and it can be executed under linux and it can be executed even on the windows also right so that is uh, uh, is called as a platform independent right it is one of the important key feature of the java language that makes java as the most powerful language platform in not even a single language is ideal to this feature but java is closer to this feature the programs written on one platform can run any platform provided by the platform must have the only thing is java virtual machine must be there right so jvm uh, so if that is there then that can run in all make of the computers as well as on all the uh, different kinds of operating systems also right so we call that is a platform independent and portable portable means so you can execute that program in any operating system that is the meaning of that the it is a pure object oriented program as i told right not it will not uh, use say one more disadvantage of this java even though it is very popular you cannot use a pointers in java okay that you keep in mind pointers we can use only in c and c++ language not in java okay no pointers even in inheritance also we have one kind of inheritance called as a multiple inheritance where c++ is going to support that multiple uh, inheritance but here java will not support multiple inheritance in uh, some other way we have to uh, do the uh, the execution of the uh, multiple inheritance okay in java everything is an object i told no since it is a pure object oriented program whatever you are going to uh, execute it all on the classes methods and the objects only no other things i told no no pointers nothing okay no simple program also if you are going to write a simple program hello welcome to java you have to use a the object there also you have to use a objects to access the the member function of the devices right so it is full of objects java can be easily extended uh, since it is based on the object model as i told java is a pure object oriented programming language since it to write a simple program also you have to use a object okay you have to use a methods that is a functions so rob uh, java is a robust and secure okay java is a robust like uh, language because it can eliminate the error situations by emphasizing mainly on compile time error by checking and run time checking because of the absence of pointers in java we can easily achieve the security pointers is what pointer is a one which stores the address of another variable right that is a meaning so since there are no pointers are present in java programming right so it is a a more secure because so uh, pointers means what pointing to it is going to store the address of another variable right 
when it is going to store the address of another variable what happens is two names are uh, pointing to the same location any uh, changes you are going to make on one variable that may change the location value also right when it is going to change the location value what happens that uh, manipulation of the data takes place there will be no security for the data since java does not use a pointers absence of pointers in java we can easily achieve the security okay that is the reason why it is a the robust language it is going to handle all kinds of uh, situation error situations whether it is a run time because if it is errors occurs at run time we have exception handling mechanisms right to handle such errors right dynamic pro when is the execution part takes place right we are going to write exception handling mechanisms in the java programming right to handle the run time errors right so that is the reason it is a the robust language distributed okay so since java is designed for the the uh, internet applications okay we can opus we can open and access remote objects in on the internet as easily as possible and even you can run your those uh, piece of code that is a java applets in your local machines also right that's why the java programs when it comes to the uh, with respect to the internet applications right java app uh, designed to uh, distributed environment local machine also can access the programs which are there in the internet okay and even the remote objects also can access the internet to download your java programs it is familiar and simple and small so java is a designed to be easy to learn it is very easy to learn and uh, the basic concepts of object oriented programming java would be very easy to understand that is maybe data encapsulation okay data abstraction or polymorphism inheritance all are important features and you if you understand the object oriented programming concepts right you can easily understand the java programming language right see with java's multi threaded feature so one feature is there in future chapter you are going to study multi threaded it is possible to write programs that can do many tasks simultaneously multi means what many right so you people are coming familiar with the binary threaded tree threaded binary trees right what do you mean by binary threaded trees we want to uh, avoid the null values in the binary right so what we will do we are going to connect that uh, threads to the the previous uh, depends upon whether it is a parent node or the previous next uh, previous level of the node whatever it may depends right so here also in a multi threaded feature what is a, what is going to happen is when uh, we are going to write a programs okay that particular program is going to do the different task simultaneously that is very important simultaneously means parallelly that program is going to do one job in one machine same program is going to do the other job in the other machine so write programs that can do many tasks simultaneously this design feature allows the developer to construct smoothly running the interactive applications because of this feature multi threaded uh, feature of the java right it allows the developers to uh, construct Uh, more interactive applications that can uh, that can be used in the internet applications right so high performance because of this intermediate byte code java language provides a high performance okay i told now java program once you written it go, it is going to be compiled with a java compiler that is going to be converted into the byte code when that byte code intermediate code is generated that byte code we can use it and we can directly execute the program right so interpreter that is a interpretation will be done and byte code 
and execution will be faster because it is byte code it will be in the the form of zeros and ones dynamic and extensible java is considered to be more dynamic than c or c++ since it is designed to adapt to an uh, evolving environment that we are going to use it in the internet applications and small programs we are going to design using the java okay and uh, they are going to carry extensive amount of runtime information that have been used to verify and resolve the object uh, access to the objects on the runtime either the these uh, uh, dynamic means there are so many problems which comes across during the execution of the programs are going to be solved using the the java extensive uh, java programs right so that is why it is a more 